the scripture while you're turning there is talking about being a child. Who we are as a child of God. Who Just who are we as a child of God? It says in Galatians 4 and 7, it says, Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son. Paul was talking about really talking about a child. No more a servant, but a child. And if a son or a child, then an heir of God through Christ. We're no more a servant, but Paul says a child of God. That's who we are, a child of God. And if a child of God, then an heir of God through Christ. So who are we? We're a child of God. Who are we? We're not a servant, but we're a child of God. We're sons and daughters of Jesus Christ. This is, let us think in just for a moment. This is who we are. We're not a servant, but we're his sons and daughters. If we're, son, if we're sons and daughters to the king, then really who are we? I am blessed. Just put your hand over your chest and say, I am blessed. I am chosen. I am adopted. I am redeemed. I am forgiven. I am sealed. I am loved. I am saved. I am forgiven. I am God's child. I am a child of God. Tell yourself, yes, I am. I am a child of God. Yes, I am. I'm forgiven. I'm redeemed. I've been set free. I've been blood bought. I am blessed today. I am a child of the Most High God. Yes, I am. We belong to Him. We be we've been bought with the price. We have royal blood flowing through our veins. We are no more servants, but we are a child of the King. This is, who, this is who we are as sons and daughters. Let us welcome Him here today. God, we thank You that we belong to You today. Lord, as we come to worship, let our hearts and minds be on that thought that we belong to you. We are blessed. We are chosen. We are redeemed. We, and God, you love us. Your love is set upon us today. Let us come to worship. We come with our hands lifted high to praise and magnify you for who you are, for what you mean to us today. We've been set free. Our names have been written in the Lamb's Book of Life. One day we shall see you for ourselves. And God, we pray, bless this service today. Touch our pastor. Touch our singers. Touch our musicians. Let everything done today to lift you up. Exalt your holy name today. Have your way in this service. Speak to every need, every heart, every trouble that is here. Most of all, someone that is lost, to minister to their hearts. Let your, your word pierce their hearts to they realize today that they need you as a personal Savior. Have your way, God. We honor you. We worship you today. And let everyone say amen. Worship the praise team at this time. We want to give the greatest name our greatest praise. Do you want to give him your greatest praise this morning? We want it to flow to him this morning. Hallelujah. Glory.
our praise should belong to Him. I shouldn't praise my career, my material wealth, but my praise, nothing should steal our praises that belong to Him. Everything. How God desires praises because when we praise Him, it just shows that who God is. We're showing other people that who God is and what He means to us in our life. That nothing should steal our praises that belong to Him. He's worthy of praise. Amen. We thank the Lord for allowing us to be here as our ushers getting ready to serve you today. Let us remind you today that Wednesday evening will be our Bible study, our drive through Bible study, Wednesday evening at 7 o'clock. Wednesday at 7 o'clock. We do ask you to join us. We welcome you out for our Bible study. And you just, will you just feel free to worship the Lord? Let us just ask the Lord's blessings upon the offering today. God, we thank you. Thank you for this opportunity that we come to able to give back to you as you have given to us. Bless every giver that is here today. God, we honor you with our first fruits. How you've blessed us. God, thank you. And Lord, we pray, bless everyone that is here in Jesus' name we pray. Will you worship today in your tithes and your offering today? Oh! 
glorify him. Amen. Thank God. I've been loose. I've been set free. Pardon me a moment while I have a jubilee. Somebody have yourself a jubilee right now. Somebody praise him right now. Amen. Thank God. Somebody glorify the living God. Amen. Thank the living Lord. Oh, you've been loose. You've been set free. If you're free, worship God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise him. Come on, thanks of God. Glorify him. Exalt him. Magnify him. I've been loose. I've been set free. I'm not bound. Thank God we've been free by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Worship him. Worship him. Magnify him. Exalt him. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah, God. Come on, praise him. You have a right to praise him. Now is your chance to glorify the Lord. Amen. Thank God. Amen. I'm so glad to be set free. Amen. It's good to be loose. Amen. For the power of sin. Amen. Thank God. I've been, you hear what this song said? I've been loose. I've been set free. Pardon me a moment while I have a jubilee. Oh, somebody praise God. Have yourself a jubilee right now. Amen. Thank God. It's so great to praise the living God. Worthy is the Lamb of God to receive glory and honor and power. I'm free. Tell somebody I'm free. Thank God. I'm free to worship God. I'm praise the Lord. I'm free to magnify Him. I'm free to praise Him. I'm free to worship the living God. I've been set free. Glory be to God. I'm not bound. The church is not bound. The church is free. Come on, church of God. We're free. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory, glory. I feel the power of God out here. I feel the Holy Ghost in His place. Amen. Thank God. We have been made free by the blood of Christ. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. You ought to have yourself a jubilee this morning. For almost six months, almost a half a year, we've been in cars. We're trying to worship God. Today would be a good day to step outside the vehicle. And so I'm going to have myself a jubilee. I'm going to worship God. That's all right, man. Come on. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You can't worship God like they won't through that automobile. Amen. Thank God. We let, let the Holy Ghost loose you out of that car right now and say, thank God I'm loose. Amen. I've been set free. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're not hearing me, are you? Y'all step outside that car right now, that vehicle, and say, I'm free. I'm a worship God today. I've come to worship God. That's right. I've come to worship God today, man. I'm tired of being bound up in an automobile. I'm tired of being bound up in a car. Come on, somebody. Now do this my hands and glorify God and magnify the Lord. Oh, somebody praise Him. Somebody magnify Him. Somebody exalt Him. Amen. Thank God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, Jesus. I've been loose. Amen. I'm loose. I'm free to worship God. You know what? This is just me. This is just me. But every one of us should be outside our vehicles right now. And because we had been in church worshiping God like we ought to, stand up and praising God. Get out and now stand up and worship God and glorify Him. I'm not trying to work up anything here for the sake of God. He's already here. He come on, He's already here. Amen. Thank God. I'm trying to encourage you to get outside the automobile. Get outside the box, amen, if you will. And worship God, amen. Thank God and glorify the Lord. Amen. Because He's worthy. He'll take care of me. He's worthy of our worship, amen. Thank God. I've been loose. If you are loose, tell somebody I'm loose. I've been set free. Oh, pardon me a moment. What I have a jubilee, glory be to God. Have yourself a jubilee, thanks to God. Praise Him, magnify Him, exalt Him, hallelujah, God. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Word is a lamb of God. God, you're worthy. Hallelujah. I appreciate you worshiping God right now. God's worthy of my worship, amen. 
Praise the living God. Magnify Him. Exalt Him. Glorify Him. Hallelujah. 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 Hey, hallelujah to God. That's right. Praise Him. That's right. Glorify Him. That's right. Obey Him. Amen. Thank God. You're free. You're outside the vehicle. Now you're free. Come on, somebody. Thank God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Beside the road, they're praising God. Back in the back parking lot, they're praising God. In front of me, they're praising the Lord. Come on, somebody. Thank God. It feels good to praise Him, doesn't it? It feels good to lift up holy hands. Amen. Thank God. And give God glory because God's worthy of our worship. Amen. Thanks be to the living God. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Worthy. The Word of God says, Worthy is the Lamb of God. Just before I read my text, let me say this. In everything that I have breath, praise ye the Lord. If you're breathing right now, if you've got breath in your body right now, and I believe if you have, would you praise God? Amen. At home where you are, by, by social media, give God some praise. Amen. If you've got breath, give him praise. And everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. Let everything you have breath, praise the living God. God's worthy of our worship, amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, yes. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, my Father God. I praise Him. Take a moment to praise Him, thanks to God. Hallelujah. It's all right. Love Him. Love on Him. Love on Him from your heart, thanks to God. Oh, yes, Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. I will lift my voice upon high. I lie heavy to be, and I will praise the Lord while I'm living. The dead cannot praise Him, but they that are living. Come on, somebody. They shall praise the living God. Amen. Celebrate Him today, thanks to God. He's worthy. Did you not know it's almost six months, almost a half year, and God's given us beautiful weather every Sunday? That would be enough to praise Him right there. Amen. Thank God. We hadn't been rain. We hadn't been snowed. Thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we can turn out. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. God's given us weather all weather every week. Amen. Thank God. He's worthy. But not just that. He woke us up this morning, set us on our way, clothed in our right mind. Come on, somebody. We were able to dress ourselves and drive ourselves to the house of God. Amen. And, and we were able to lift up holy hands. Amen. Thank God and magnify Him. God is worthy of our worship. Father God, oh, praise the Lord, all ye people. Shout unto God with a voice of triumph. Amen. Thank God. Let's go clap your hands, all you people. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's worthy of our worship. Amen. He's worthy of our praise. I will praise him while I have any being. What a God we serve this morning. I'm so grateful you're in the house of God today out here to worship him in the service. You've been faithful for all this time to come to the house of God in burning the hot weather, 95, 98 degree weather not counting the index you've been here to worship God now God's given us a, a beautiful day and a cool breeze blowing amen to praise him and I thank God for that this morning God is so worthy of our worship worthy of our praise thank you so very much while you're turning the book of Psalms chapter 10 Psalms chapter 10 and Proverbs 29 let me say I thank all of you every one of you for all those wonderful beautiful birthday wishes on thursday this this past week amen thank you so much i couldn't i couldn't return a, a thank you to all of you on facebook but thank god for all those who sent a birthday wish to me on my 60 something birthday god bless you so much thank you that so much amen thank god appreciate every one of that amen we love you god bless you 
You are a beautiful people. Turn to somebody and say, you are looking good today. You wait, you wait, Chandler. Wait, man, thank God. Beautiful. And for six months almost, Brother Wayne's been with us, traveling miles and hours to get here to give us this good sound effect we have. His equipment is wearing and turning vehicle. Thank you, Brother Wayne. God bless you. And during this time, he lost his dad, but thank God he's with us today. Man, come on. Thank you so much. Our musicians, our singers, amen, give them praise. I can't praise them, amen. Thank God. Thank you so much. And Brother D and all of us, God, we pray. God is so good. Amen. Psalm chapter 10, verse number 1 through 4. And then verse 11. Why standest thou afar off, O Lord? Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? David, he's not hiding. He's got his eye upon every one of us. The wicked in his pride doth not doth persecute the poor. Let them be taken in advice that they have been imagined, have imagined. For the wicked boast of all his heart's desire and bless the covetous whom the Lord abhorreth. The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after God. God is not in all his thoughts. Verse 11 he hath said in his heart, God hath forgotten. He hideth his face, he will never see it. Proverbs 29 and verse 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. Hello, somebody. Useful thought this morning. It's time to pray. It's time for America to pray and seek the face of God. Over a hundred years ago, Daniel Webster, one of America's greatest statesmen, uttered this solemn warning to America. If we abide by the principles taught in the Bible, our country will go on prospering. But if we, we, if we in our posterity neglect this instruction and authority, no man can tell how suddenly a catastrophe Amen. May overwhelm us and bury us all. Amen. In all our glory and profound obscurity. We must return back to God. Turn back to the Bible. The Bible is a book of life. It's alive and it shows us the way of life. Come on, somebody. Every nation should be ruled by the word of the living God and by the God of that word. Come on. Many of our U.S. presidents, amen, in the past publicly declared their allegiance to the Word of God on June. Amen. According to history, on June 6, 1876, President Grant made a declaration. Amen. A letter to the Sunday School Times. This is what he said. He said, Hold fast to the Bible and the sheet anchor of your liberties. Write its precepts in your hearts and practice them in your lives. And he will only say, Amen, to the, to the influence of this Bible. We are indebted for all the progress made in true civilization. Amen. And to this, we must look as a guide. Amen. In the future, we must always hold to the Word of the living God and to the God of glory. Come on, somebody, man. Uh, when, a, when, a, when a nation moves away from God's word, uh, then with God's blessing will not be upon that nation. Amen. Thank God. Uh, you can look at Israel's history. When they turned their back on God, uh, the enemy overtook them. Amen. But thank God uh, when they cried out to God, uh, then God fought the battle for them. I think it's time uh, for America to cry out to God uh, and say, God, we have sinned. Uh, we have backslidden God. Uh, we need to repent. Come on, somebody. Thank God. Amen. Uh, we got to go back to the word of the living God, amen. He wanted me to say, listen, Psalms 14, 34, or Proverbs rather 13, 44 says, righteous exalt a nation, but sin is reproach to any people. As we are we of this hour of fools and slow of heart to see and to read the signs of a dying civilization, spiritually dying. Come on, somebody. Amen. The drum beat of eternity is heard and the streamlined shrieks of the present anti, amen, aircraft siren. Come on, amen. Thank God. Armageddon seems not so very far away today. Come on, somebody. To those who are spiritually alert, amen. We realize this thing is winding up, amen. Time we see on earth as we know it is about to come to an end. The Armageddon, amen, is 
not so far and far away. Uh, someone said, and rightly so, uh, there are too many dust-covered Bibles in America, prayerless homes, amen, and deserted churches without even a simple of prayer meeting. Come on, somebody. Uh, we got to get back. Uh, America, we got to get back to the Word of God and to the God of the Bible. Come on, somebody, man. Uh, if we would turn to God and get back to God, then God will bless America again. Uh, God will make America great again. Uh, man can't make it great, but God uh, can make it great again. Amen. Uh, when we get back, God will get back to the Word uh, of the living God and the God of our glory. Amen. Amen. There's a widespread or wide spiritual ignorance and desecration of God's day, the Lord's day. Come on. People treat the Lord's day as any other day. I can ride down my street about any any Sunday, any Sunday in the week, in the week and somebody's more than long on Sunday. Amen. A widespread spiritual ignorance and desecration of, of the Lord's day. It was once said that the strength of a nation lies the fiber of its home life. Come on, somebody. Man, thank God. Therefore, the greatest need in the whole world is a return to old-fashioned meeting for prayer. Amen. We've got to pray, sakes of God. We've got to turn back to the Word and to prayer. Amen. Thank God for the Bible says in Hosea 6 and 1, Come and let us return to the Lord. For you have torn and He will heal us. He has smitten and He will bind us up. Amen. Although God must judge sin, He always desired to heal and to restore. Come on, somebody. But God cannot let sin go on without being put in. Come on, somebody. He said, return to God. Go back to God. Church, hear me. America, hear me. Amen. Let us turn to God. Amen. In these last days. Malachi 3, 7 says this in the Word of God. Even from the days of your fathers, you've gone away from mine ordinances and have not kept them. Return to me and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. America, that's our promise from God Almighty. He said if we return to him, he will return unto us. Amen. I believe all of you would know and realize today and agree with me that we need to return to God. Amen. America walked us so far left from God. It's not even funny. Come on, somebody. Thank God. We said if you return to me, I return to you. Listen, we need to return to the principles of God's divine word. We need to return to the sanctity of human life. Life, amen. The Bible says, uh, Thou shalt not kill. But we are born all these babies every year. We need to turn the sanctity uh, of human life, amen. Uh, turn the sanctity, amen, of marriage, uh, amen. One man and one woman, amen. Uh, return to God, amen. Uh, amen. Uh, the, the God of glory, amen. Uh, the godless, amen. The purity, the virtue, the righteousness of, of our living God. Uh, we got to turn back uh, to be blessed of God, uh, to keep from going under and sinking, amen. Uh, we got to turn to God. Uh, God's in authority, uh, and God's on the throne, uh, and God rules, and God reigns, and God is a God of mercy and just. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. He tells us in Zechariah 1, 3, Therefore say thou unto them, such saith the Lord of hosts, Turn ye therefore unto me, saith the Lord of hosts. I will turn to you, saith the Lord of hosts. God's message through Zechariah begins with a call for the people to Turn to God. In other words, repent. It's time for our nation, our churches in America, amen, to return to God. Repent. Come on, somebody. There must be repentance in this nation for God to bless us like he wants to. Amen. Thank God. There must be a return to our living God, the one I believe this nation was built on and found on the word of God in prayer, praying saints of God, amen, uh, who lay before God and prayed out to God, amen. Uh, we got to return back, amen. Uh, we're in the last days. Uh, he's about to come back for the church, amen. Thank God. Uh, let us return to the God uh, of our fathers, amen. Uh, the God of Abraham, uh, the the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Let's return to the God of our fathers. Come on, somebody. Amen. If we turn to God again with all of our hearts and pray, I believe we will have deliverance. I believe we'll be blessed again. Come on, as a nation, church, America, world, it is time to seek God while he may be found. 
And someone said, and keep on seeking him until he is found. Come on, somebody. Amen. Thank God. It's time to seek God. I hope I'm not wasting my time up here this morning. I hope you aren't hearing what I'm saying today, man. It's time for America to pray. Amen. Man don't have the answer. Amen. No, probably don't have the answer. But God has the answer. When a nation turns back to God and say, God, we've done wrong. Hey, God, we failed you. And God, we are wrong. And you are right. Amen. Then God can come on the scene. Then God can bless. Amen. Hear me, America. No matter who you vote in, can't solve these problems. Amen. But God is a problem to solve. Amen. He has an answer right now. America and church world, turn back to God. Return to the Lord. He said, I will return unto you. We got to have God on the platform. Amen. Amen. Hello, somebody. Amen. Listen, Woodrow Wilson, the son of a minister, and regarded as one of America's great presidents, was thoroughly trained in the Bible. He called it the one supreme source of revelation of the meaning of life. Amen. J. Edgar Hoover, the late director of FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, and strong champion of the Word of God in the church, he's had this to say. The Bible is the unfailing guide which points to the way from men and women to the perfect life. Amen. Thank God. May I tell you this morning, it's not in some party. Amen. Thank God it's not up in man, but in the Word of God and the God of the Word. Come on, somebody. Thank God. Amen. The lesson of charity and justice and equality, which enriches its pages, should be learned well by all men in order that greed, amen, and iniquity can't be blotted out. Amen. Thank God. The Word of God. I hold him by hand. That is what will make America great again when we turn wholeheartedly to the word of the living God that's what makes it amen thank God amen we need God back in America we need God back in our churches we need God back in our homes we need God back in our schools we need God back on our jobs America we need God back in our lives amen hello somebody my 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 it's time to pray in America and for America. America needs to repent of her sins, cry out to God and return to God wholeheartedly, man. When a people or a country disregards the God of heaven and his holy book, they are headed for this astro. They're headed for destruction. Come on, somebody, man. Thank God. Look what a year 2020 has been. When God seen all this ungodliness in America going on, amen, between people, amen, thank God. And, and without we've seen all this ungodliness going on in, in our nation, we need to turn back of glory come on somebody and say God thou art God and beside there is no other he's the only true in God and may I say right now there's only one way to God and that's through Jesus Christ the son of the living God you said I am the way the truth and the life by no means are there many ways to God it's only one way by the son of the almighty God amen I am the way Jesus said amen Psalms 11 and 3, the Bible declares, if the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Hello? Faithful believers will take refuge in God. Hello, somebody. Amen. And remain committed to righteousness even if the moral and spiritual foundation are destroyed in both society and the church, we will hold fast to God. We will take our refuge, amen, in our Lord. We will, amen, thank God, commit to his righteousness and hold on to God. Speaking of the wicked in Psalms 82 and 5, the psalmist says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk only in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Amen. Thank God. But God has revealed himself to us in the person of his only son, Jesus Christ. Amen. We can be saved. America can be saved through Jesus Christ, the son of God. Amen. He is the answer for the day. Come on, somebody. The, this one is saying, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, birth rule, the people mourn. Amen. There's been a lot of mourning going on this year. 
or the wicked is trying to rule the nation. Come on, somebody. Amen. To get back to God, America must cast herself by faith as hopeless sinner at the feet of Jesus Christ. Accept him as our personal Savior and sin bearer. And allow his atoning blood shed on Calvary's cross to cleanse the sinner from all sins. Amen. When we do this, God's promised in his word to make us new creatures, amen, with new desires. He said, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new, amen. It's not only in the, in the, in the, in the world, in America, in the, in, the, in, the, in the society. This message come on in the church world, amen. Thank God I believe the church world needs to repent, amen, of what we allow to go on inside our churches, amen, and how we allow to go on inside our homes, amen. Thank God when we clean up America and they turn to God we clip our home then God will bless us again amen amen listen God is aware of everything going on all around us he knows your thoughts and my thoughts are far off he knows the, what we're thinking right now and what we intend to do he knows, he knows the intents of our heart so I say to you today thanks to God Amen. Take this message closely to your heart and think about it in the weeks and months ahead. America need to return to our God. Think about what I'm saying right now. Amen. Thank God. America to get back to the God of the Bible. Amen. To get back, we must repent. We must ask God for forgiveness. Amen. The Bible tells us in Romans 5 and 1, Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we've got to be justified. Listen, our beloved country, that was founded by a praying, God-fearing people has become, listen, a crime-ridden, pleasure-loving, God-forgetting nation. Hence, we're staggering the great burdens of a great moral and spiritual depression. Come on, somebody. I don't come to bring, bring sad news. I come to bring the truth. Thanks to God. Amen. It's time we face the truth. Amen. And the hour of where we are right now. America is in trouble, not with man, but with God. Amen. Amen. God made this world. Amen. America has forgotten God. The Bible says the wicked shall be turned to hell. And all they shall forget God. If we forget God, said, Amen. You'll be turned into hell. Amen. It's all right. Thanks to God. Amen. So America founded and settled by praying people. You see the crime in America on the streets today. All this protest, all this shit, all this burning, all this stuff going on in America. Amen. That shouldn't be that way. We, we, we serve God and love the Lord. It wouldn't be that way. Come on, somebody. We live in a country that's pleasure seeking, pleasure loving, and God forget it. Amen. This America is sick, heart sick, because she's sin sick. He turned to God, amen. Her bloodstream needs to be tra a transfusion of new life, a flow of the power of the Holy Ghost of God, amen, the, the God of Israel, amen. My, my, church, is prayer time in America. Tell somebody it's prayer time in America. Come on. It's time to pray and seek the face of God. He said in the Word of God, if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then uh, will I heal from heaven, forgive their sin, and heal the land. Uh, if my people, God, was talking about the world, if the church world, I'm telling you, Santa Tree, let's be a part of that group that's going to say, God, save America. We pray for an endless seed for our nation. If my people, amen, thank God, we're hoping themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. If my people will pray, if my people seek my face, if my people turn from the wicked ways, if my people call upon me, I will hear from heaven. God will keep his promise. Hello, somebody. Listen. He said, if, that word if means in case that or supposing that. They say they would, but if they do, he said, if you do, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive your sins and I will heal the land. You will know today, thanks to God, 
that American land needs healing. The whole nation needs healing. Come on, somebody. Thank God. But God said, if you call upon me, if you seek me and go after me and, and turn from your wicked ways, amen, thank God. Humble yourselves. You see, America is too, too full of pride to humble themselves, amen. But I have news for America and the whole world. There's coming a day when every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. He's Lord to the glory of the living God. Every knee and every time. Come on, somebody, man. I, so why not do it right now and let God bless us one more time, amen. Wow. I will never bow, preacher, to a God that doesn't exist. I'll never bow to a God that don't live. Well, the Bible said the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Then by that I must call you a fool. To say there is no God because God is real. I would say that our God lives. He's the first fruit of the resurrection. Come on, somebody. Jesus Christ is alive and well. He's not dead. Oh, yeah, preacher. He was crucified 2,000 years ago, but today he lives. In three days, I rise again. On the third day, he came up out of that grave. Come on, somebody. Thank God. Uh, and we serve a resurrected Lord. Amen. Uh, and, and one day, every knee in America, in every country, every country in this world, will bow before God uh, and say, Lord, thou art God. God to the glory of the Father. Come on, somebody. He is Lord. Amen. Thank God forevermore. Glory be to God. Amen. The God of all glory. Listen, I ask the question, does the moral and spiritual land of America need healing? Hello, somebody. Amen. Did Jeremiah said in 33 and 3, would you know this? Call unto me. And I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God's give us promises. At the promise in the word of God, he said, return to me and I will return to you. A promise from God. He said, amen, thank God. If you, if you call upon me in 20 weeks ways, I will hear you. I will give you, amen, I will. And I will be, it, it shall be done, amen, thank God. Now he said, call us me, actually, I will answer you. I will show thee great and mighty things that you do not of, amen, thank God. Individuals and nations are made great by pursuit of scriptural knowledge of, and, of, and, and living God, amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Thank God uh, we need to turn back to the Bible and to the God of the Bible and say, God, save our nation. Uh, America is in grave trouble today. And I hope I've said something today that calls you to bend your knees and bow before God and say, God, save our nation. We, we, we can't sit around and say, God, we must do all we can as a child of God to get God back in America. We must vote the right way, do the right thing. Come on, somebody, to get God back in America. Come on, somebody, thank God, amen. Uh, America needs God. Uh, what we need is God to walk among us one more time. God to breathe upon this nation. Uh, Thank God has bowed down upon America one more time, and he will if we do what he said to do, amen. If we live by his word, return to the sanctity of human life, return to the sanctity of marriage, amen. See, we've tried to, America's tried to do away with God's word. God's word says marriage is for one man and one woman, not two men and two women. Come on, somebody. Amen. Thank God. God created Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Come on, somebody. Not Adam and Eve. Come on, come on. God created man. Come on. Hey, God, but America has turned way left field out for what the Word of God says. But the Word of God, listen, you may turn America away from God, but America, amen, God is still God, and the Word is still right. You may rewrite the book, amen, but what I hold in my hands I already settled in heaven, amen. It's forever settled, and God won't change His Word, amen. His Word is right, right by itself, amen, thank God. So we need to turn to the God of our fathers, the God of the Bible. I see America get great again, amen. I see America blessed of the living God. In my close, let me, let me quote and read you verse 
Amen. Psalms 9 and 17. One more time. Psalms 9 and 17, the word of God. The wicked shall be turned into hell. Not some nations, but all nations that forget God. Saints, in my closing this year, in the past, I religiously, religiously was under attack by the devil. Oh, somebody, let's pray that God somehow will get hold of the hearts of the people and get back into America. Amen. Listen, all America is not backslidden on God. I, I told God that, the Lord, you still have a remnant in America that loves you. Come on, that's right. You still have people in America that loves you, God. Amen. Thank everyone hadn't turned their back on God. Everyone hadn't went out left field. Come on, somebody. But God still has a people. Tell somebody, God still has a people. Amen. Thank God. Amen. Somebody who loved the Lord and loved the Word of God, He still has a people and a die for Him. Come on, somebody. Thank God. And will serve Him with all their heart. I pray, hold on to God. Run the race, thanks to God. Hold on. Be steadfast and move in your walk with God. Let God rule and reign in your home. In your life, amen. On your job, let God be God, amen. Amen. He'll take you through. We serve a living God today. During this pandemic, thanks of God, as I said earlier during the year, He's not sitting around twiddling His thumbs, worried about what's going to happen, what's going to, what's going to do. He already has a plan. If a miracle will follow God's plan, it's right here. He'll do what He said, amen. Thank God. If my people, which are called by my name, are any Christians out there today in Satan? Fuck all. Any, any, you better thank God. If my people, you that raise your hand, you that toot your horn, if you will call upon God, He said, humble yourselves, pray, seek my face, and turn from our wicked ways, I will hear. From heaven. If there's sin in my life and I know it's there and won't repent of it, then God will not hear me. But the Bible tells us in Psalm 66, 18, if I regard it from my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Amen. I can preach all the messages. I can preach. I can come to church all the time. But as long as there's sin in my life, God will not hear me, preacher. Because he said, amen, the Lord, we, we know that the Lord hears not sin, but they that worship him and do his will, him he heareth. Amen. Thank God. So I'm saying you that raised, we that raised our hand, you that to your horn, if we are pray, amen, to do what God said in verse Amen. 14 or 2 Chronicles 7. Then God will do what he said he would do. I will hear. I will heal. I will forgive. Come on, somebody. Thank God. All these I wills of God. If, amen. Thank God. Here to me. Amen. Return to me and I will return to you. Amen. Thank God. God's trying to call us back home to him. Amen. America. God's trying to send a message this morning. Return to me, what a living God. Now, he could be, now, he could. If he wanted to, he's that kind of God, he could just destroy us right now because all this sin in the station. But God is long-suffering. But when the any should perish, but all should come to repentance. He's a loving God, a caring God. If we give you God, Father, thank you for this good word today. Thank you for your long-suffering and your mercy and your grace toward a nation or nations have seemingly turned their back on God. But as I stand before you this morning, Father, you still have a people in America that loves you, that will stand for you, God, no matter what. And I pray, help us to bow our knees before God and not just say a prayer or recite a prayer or quote a prayer but pray in supplication before God seek the face of God while he may be found while he's still near God save America give us godly leaders God fearing leaders God to run this nation through this nation God we pray to lead your people and I pray, God, touching every home, every family, 
in America today, and people bend their knees before God and cry out to God. Put a yearn, a desire, a long in the hearts of God to cry out to you, Lord, and America back in the home. And thank God for those who still love you and still serve you. We're going to hold you up, God, we pray in our prayers and our needs. God, save our families. Save our enemies. Save our loved ones. And help the church to turn back to God. Help America to turn back to God. And to the Bible, the Word of God. For which this nation was founded upon God. Praying, godly people. The Word of Almighty God. Now, Father, pick the hearts of those that is hearing me by my voice right now. Those who may be looking at my social media, God. Pick the hearts of those who are lost with conviction. Help them to pray the prayer of repentance and invite you in their heart and their life. Help them repent of their sins and invite you in their, their heart and their life as Lord and Savior. With a true heart and to uh, confession to God, I pray. Help them believe in their heart and confess with their mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One more prayer I'm going to pray here before Brother V comes. I want you out there in your vehicles and sitting in the chairs. Just bow your head where you are right now. And talk to God about your needs, your family, your, your friends, and your relatives, your loved ones. That God will save us. Let's up before prayer. Father, we lift up every need in this parking lot today in every home. And every family, and every marriage, God, here today, touch those who are in dire need of a touch in their bodies. That only you can do, God, this morning. Save our families, our sons, our daughters. Save husbands and wives. Save our children, grandchildren, God, and grandparents throughout our home, our families, and throughout the world. May God meet the needs of your people and heal for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Mike. God bless you, Church of God. Don't forget Wednesday night service at 7 o'clock in the church. Amen. God bless you all. Give God some praise. Amen. Thank God. Come on, praise Him. Come on, praise Him, saints of God. Give God glory. Amen. My, my, my glory, Father, Lord of glory. Amen. Let us pray. Let us dismiss. God, we thank you for your word today. Thank you for our pastor strengthening him. Lord, as we come to meet again, keep us safe. Thank you for that word. It encourages, strengthens our lives. Thank you for your love on, on our life each and every day. And Lord, we just love you. We thank you in Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Have a safe week this week.